Hi everyone, this is Prashad Parthi Ben. Today, for a change, I would like to cover two different topics in the same session. Please give me your feedback after this session. To start with, I would like to cover what do you mean by rating worksheet in PNC insurance. So, let's see a very basic example. Most of us have automobile. So, if you have a car and if you need insurance, you go to an insurance company. Basically, assume that you need collision coverage, comprehensive coverage for your personal auto, liability coverage, medical coverage. So you are saying I need limit of $30,000, $40,000, liability $80,000, right? So what happens? Typically, the insurance company enters your data in the any policy administration system. It could be Duck Creek or Guidewire. So once they enter it, they send your information including your insured information, your past history, etc, etc to a rating system. Most of you know I have another video where I would have talked about what do you mean by rate tables, rate routines, rate descriptions. If you want to understand about it, I will give this other video link in the description. You can go through that. But typically what will happen, you will send the policy information to the rating system. Basically what will happen, this rate table is nothing but if the customer is like 60 plus, then they have certain rates. If the customer is uh, college students, they will have certain rates. So those information will be in the rate tables, like along with various factors. Rate routine is a kind of logic, right? If this is a case, then this is a county, then give them this premium, right? All those logics will be in the rate routine. Rate book is a combination of rate table and rate routine. So, you pass on this policy information to the rating system. This rating system calculates the premium based on this rate routines. And what they will do is, they will create a sheet called rating worksheet. Now, most of you may ask valid question, what is the need? Why do you really need a rating worksheet? Say, if you are an underwriter for an insurance company, you want to understand the details of the overall premium. Say, the overall premium is $1,600 per year, right? As a customer, you will be fine with that. But as an underwriter, you may be interested to know how the system arrived at this premium 1600. So if you see this rating worksheet sample, basically it will have all the calculations, step by step process, how they arrived at 1600. So to start with collision coverage, it will say the rate per $100 is 0.5. Then you multiply by the overall limit. It gives you the premium. Similarly, comprehensive coverage. So individual coverage level will calculate the premium by applying the factors and plus we will have all the attributes like location, where the car is garaged, uh, what is the age of the driver etc etc and then we will arrive at the premium which is nothing but 1600. So that is the intention of rating worksheet. It is nothing but the detailed uh, document that will have step by step procedures which uh, resulted in this premium and in case if the underwriter wants okay for collision instead of 0.5 let's me make it a 0.6 they can override the factor and recalculate the premium so that's a pretty much intention and if say if there's an audit from department of insurance or statistical teams they want to understand how did you come up with this premium did you overcharge the customer then they can show this rating worksheet which is going to have detailed information to the audit team so pretty much this is what a rating worksheet right like it has the details of the detailed procedures that is used to calculate the premium with the rates, factors, attributes, if you name anything related to rating, even the rate tables, rate routines information will be there. So this is what I want to cover in rating worksheet. Now the second topic is <coughs> difference between bind only and issuance. Say, let's take the same personal auto example, right? You created a submission, you want a insurance for your car and everything is done, you create a quote, you get the premium at the stage where you wanted to issue the insurance company, say you are a student you want a insurance for your car if you are a student they give you some discount so the insurance company is asking you for some kind of document that proves you are a student but you don't have it handy so you say let me get back to you in three days but you want the policy as of today so what will happen is Insurance company will say, let me do bind only, which means your policy is not a kind of valid contract. 
but it is effective from today right it's a temporary kind of no document binder document so that is why we do bind only if the insurer is waiting for an additional information from the insured or broker then they perform bind only which means policy will be active but it's not a valid policy until the policy is issued whereas issuance is a final stage right now you have all the information that you need from the insured broker now you are ready to issue the policy and that's a stage where the actual policy forms will be generated so during the issuance so the difference is this is a temporary kind of no binder where the policy will be active but it's not the final policy whereas issuance is a final stage of the policy where the policy forms will be generated and sent to the customer i hope you like my training videos if you like my training videos please do subscribe to my youtube channel have a great day bye bye